Modern film scoring famously makes use of that huge brass sound, produced by huge sections sometimes layered with samples to get even bigger. However, these large brass ensembles often produce so much sound that they unbalance the rest of the orchestra in the process, especially the strings. Thus came the rise of striping, or the recording of each section separately. This way, the string mix could be artificially boosted to fit in with the bolsterous brass and percussion sections. However, striping has its own editorial problems and is a great financial stress to any recording session budget. Sometimes, some clever orchestrational tricks can get you the brass sound you desire without drowning the strings or breaking the bank in the process. Good Hollywood orchestrators sometimes will place two of the six French horns on mutes during a big solo line to get a slightly quieter but much brighter sound in the process. I like to do this with the third and fourth players of the section. I've noticed John Williams often doing this on his more sinister cues, sometimes going to a one-to-one -one muted to unmuted ratio. Sometimes adding a solo trumpet to the French horn section widens and darkens the line. Since the trumpets sit far to the right of the conductor, it gives the illusion that a bunch of French horns are playing over there too. John Williams will usually assign the fourth trumpet to duty and often writes with horns on the part. Keep in mind that trumpets don't have the cuirve or bright overlay sound that horns have, so sometimes using one muted trumpet and three open trumpets will give the trumpet section a more complex and interesting tone. 